What up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big NCAA basketball show for Friday, December 11th, starring Maxwell Smart, and Max is running hot. We move on. We have two games left on this card. Max picked out all of these games and two very interesting spots. Let's go. Let's hammer. 9 p.m. Eastern, Nevada Wolfpack, 4-1 and on the season, 1-0 and on the road at Grand Canyon Antelopes, 3-0, and 3-0 and at home. We're at GCU Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. See what we are dealing with. At FanDuel, we have Grand Canyon as two-and-a-half point dogs. That comes juiced at minus 114, and the total is sitting at 139-and-a-half Start with Nevada. Bounce back from a 25 point loss to San Francisco by beating NAIA William Jessup 86 64. I, it's a, very tricky to judge some of these games against these uh, lower divisional opponents. They're led by guard Grant Sherfield, averaging 16.4 points, 4.8 assists, 4.2 rebounds. He does everything. Grand Canyon has come out of the gate hot. They've hammered Grambling State. Div 2 Benedictine and Mississippi Valley State by an average of 28.3 points. They're hitting 51.8% from the field. They're getting 17.3 assists per game. They're led by two bigs, two Euro stars, Max. Six foot 10 Italian center Alessandro Oliver and seven foot 270 pound Dane Asbjorn Mittgard, who's averaging 14.3 points, 12 rebounds a game. From a capping perspective, if they're playing a smaller team, they're going to eat them up for dinner. I'm very interested in how you're going to break down their first real test of the season. Nevada Wolfpack coming to Phoenix, Arizona. Take it away. Uh, Jim, um, you know how I feel as a short person about overly tall people. And these people, they're overly tall. So you know what I'll ask them to do <laughs> is go to that top shelf and grab that item for me off sure. it and pass it down and get the goddamn hell out of my way. <laughs> Let me tell you something about the big men for Grand Canyon. Yes, on paper, they've dominated. They've looked good, but they played cupcakes. Grambling had no freaking size. Mississippi Valley State had no size. Well, now they're going up against a team with KJ Hines, with Warren Washington, with Zane Meeks. They're not going to be able to throw their weight around in the same fashion that they were able to so far this season. And also, Jim, let's not forget, Grand Canyon is fantastic because of that home environment, because of that raucous crowd, because of those crazies that rival every Cameron Indoor crazy. They won't have that. They got a new coach in Bryce Drew. Dan Marley's out. He's getting a tan. He's drinking some red wine. You know, he's probably partying with the lady of the night. More expensive than I can afford. But he deserves it, you know. He's Dan Marley. Sure. Um, but in this game, from a capping perspective, Nevada's going to win this game. Uh, Nevada's going to keep this game under. Grand Canyon is suffering when it comes to backcourt scoring. Oscar Freyer, Mikey Dixon, my fellow Canadian, your fellow Canadian, Sean Miller-Moore, just haven't been doing it all. They need support for Javon Blackshear. He's running the point. He's facilitating the offense. I think that he, when he goes up against Grant Sherfield, he's going to be at a disadvantage size-wise, speed-wise, length-wise. Then, Des Cambridge, you know what? He's an Ivy Leaguer. You know how I feel about Ivy Leaguers. I don't like them, but they're good to do your taxes. <laughs> um, but Desmond, he better freaking bring the offense because the three points been sort of on, sort of off. The free throw shooting has been less than desirable. And um, I think that when you look at this Nevada team, it's going to be Zane Meeks time. Zane Meeks. Kid's a fucking three-point shooter. Steve Alford's a moron of a coach, disrespecting them, not giving them 35 minutes a game. Give me more Zane Meeks, and Nevada will win in cover, I'll tell you that. Um, this Nevada team's going to lock down uh, Grand Canyon's backcourt. I think that with their 29% three-point defense, I think that it's an accurate number. Um, just make sure that you don't put these mother beepers on the line. And um, hack their big guys if you have to. This is a team in Grand Canyon that doesn't shoot the three well. They don't hit free throws. 
Um, the way that they score is by going to the rim and using their size. In this matchup, it will not happen. Nevada wins. They win by a couple buckets. The game stays under 140. Max, as we were talking, <clears throat> we have a change here in the odds. We have Nevada, while we were talking, minus 2.5 is now minus 1.5 at FanDuel. Oh, that, that comes for me. But that comes with minus 114 juice. Is that worth the money? Because at Bet365, you can have a minus 2.5 and, and minus 105. Um, I will say that the 1.5 at the juice is because I just watched and lost on Florida State against Indiana. So, yeah, I won't be repeating that mistake anytime soon. All right. Minus 1.5 and, and minus 114 at FanDuel. And you want the under. This is another market that's moving quickly. So it's available under 140 at minus 115 at Bet365. Oh, God. Take, obviously, we're going to take that. Under 139 and a half is minus 114. Yep. Give me the under 140 minus 115. All right. Let's lock that in. I hate that juice, but you know what? Sometimes they just milk you, and especially on uh, some of these fantastic American legal books that um, discriminate against me because I'm a Canadian. <laughs> Under 140 at minus 115. That's available at Bet 365. So Max is on the Nevada Wolfpack minus one and a half and minus 114. It's available at FanDuel. He's also on the under 140 at minus 115. Available at Bet 365. This pops off at 9 p.m. Eastern. 